greetings from Filter Concept. In the previous introductory episode, we gave a brief idea about our new series Filter Solution by Filter Concept in which we are focusing on various individual industries as a whole and briefly explaining their processes along with their challenges. The first sector we will talk about is oil and gas industry. We gave you the brief about crude oil, also known as petroleum. In this video, we will cover the topics such as petroleum and its composition, petroleum classification, different streams in the petroleum industry, filtration application in downstream. Petroleum is a naturally occurring yellowish-black liquid mixture of mainly hydrocarbons and is found in geological forms. The petroleum industry encompasses the following areas exploration and extraction of crude oil from the ground, which is called the upstream sector. Transportation to refineries and product distribution centers is called the midstream sector. Refining into finished products and marketing or sale of the products to consumers is called the downstream sector of the oil and gas industry. Let's see the composition of crude oil. It is a complex mixture containing 50 to 95% hydrocarbons by weight. The composition of crude oil can majorly be classified into two classes as pure compounds and asphaltines and resin compounds. Moving forward, let's get familiarized with the classification of petroleum in brief. Petroleum is generally classified using two qualities, namely density and sulfur content. We will talk about its classification based on its location, its API gravity, and its sulfur content. Let's understand classification, firstly based on location. Crude oil is classified based on the location it is produced. The geographic location is important because it affects the transportation costs to the refinery. Example, West Texas Intermediate, Brent, Oman, etc. Secondly, classification based on its API gravity. It is the classification of crude oil on the basis of oil density. API gravity is the measure of the density of the oil. The greater the API gravity, the less dense the material. Conventionally, it is classified as Light oil means low-density oil with an API value greater than 30. Medium oil which has an oil density between light and heavy oil with its API value ranging between 22 to 30. Heavy oil which is a high-density oil has an API value lower than 22. And lastly, classification based on its sulfur content. The classification of oil and gas on the basis of the sulfur content present in the oil and gas is as follows. Oil containing less than 0.5% of sulfur is known as sweet oil. Oil containing greater than 0.5% of sulfur is known as sour oil. Natural gas that does not contain a significant amount of hydrogen sulfide gas is known as sweet gas. Natural gas containing more than 5.7 milligrams of hydrogen sulfide gas per cubic meter is known as sour gas. Sour oil or gas is corrosive in nature. As previously mentioned about various sectors, such as upstream, midstream, and downstream sectors. Let's take a deep dive into the downstream sector. Downstream operations are the processes involved in converting oil and gas into the finished product. After crude oil is discovered and extracted, the upstream process, it's shipped and transported, the midstream process. Thereafter, the oil is refined, marketed, distributed, and sold, which is the downstream process. After the extraction of crude oil, it is transported to refineries wherein the refining of petroleum takes place. Firstly, the crude enters the fractional distillation column, which gives us various fractions of different products. These products go through various refining processes, namely catalytic reforming, hydrocracking, hydrotreating, coking, catalytic cracking, solvent refining, isomerization, alkylation, amine treatment, aromatic extraction, and many more. After various refining processes, the end products obtained are refinery fuel gas, LPG, gasoline, jet fuel, kerosene, slurry oil, diesel, etc. We would be covering all these various processes one by one in this series. In this episode, we will be covering one of the refining processes occurring in the petroleum industry, namely amine filtration, along with its complete process description, challenges, and an adequate filtration solution. 
Amine treatment is a common unit process used in refineries, petrochemical plants, and natural gas processing units, and other industries. It is also known as gas treatment or gas sweetening process. In this process, natural gas undergoes a sweetening process to remove contaminants, primarily hydrogen sulfide gas because of its corrosiveness, and carbon dioxide gas for its lacking of heating value. Gases containing hydrogen sulfide, or both hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, are commonly referred to as sour gases or acid gases in the hydrocarbon processing industries. A typical amine treating process consists of an absorber unit and a regenerator unit as well as accessory equipment. In the absorber unit, the downflowing amine solution absorbs hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide from the upflowing sour gas to produce a sweetened gas stream, which is a gas free of hydrogen sulfide gas and carbon dioxide gas, as a product and an amine solution rich in absorbed acid gases. The resultant rich amine is then routed into the regenerator, a stripper with a reboiler, to produce regenerated or lean amine that is recycled for reuse in the absorber. The stripped overhead gas from the regenerator is concentrated with hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide gas. In order for amine processes to function efficiently, they require an optimal filtration solution due to its highly corrosive and contamination-laden environment. Many different contaminants can cause operational problems in the amine system. The contaminants can include fine solid particulate matter such as iron sulfides and liquid hydrocarbons in aerosol form. In an amine unit, the most frequent problems are foaming and fouling. Foaming reduces the effectiveness of absorption, resulting in high amine carryover and replacement costs. Fouling occurs from excessive particulate concentrations and can lead to poor amine or feed gas contacting and off-spec gas. As a consequence, corrosive contaminants can degrade amine strength, decrease gas treatment capacity, and increase energy costs, resulting in problems such as tray plugging in absorber and regenerator towers, heat exchanger or reboiler failure, and carbon bed fouling. Therefore, an appropriate filtration system should be incorporated into the treatment system so that we could meet the product specifications and maintain efficient operation. So whether it is a natural gas or a crude project, Filter Concept has vast experience in dealing with such operational challenges. We are already providing amine filtration systems to various industries. Our uniquely designed filtration solutions are economically sound, as well as enable industries to work at their highest efficiency. For more inquiries, do reach out to us at inquiry at the ratefilterconcept.com or ENGG at the ratefilterconcept.com. We will be looking forward to your valuable feedback. Thank you.